Hello guys, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on Engineering Science N1. In this platform, we shall be working with uh, on energy, work and power uh, from the person paper, which was written in February 2022. So we are going to quickly rush through the questions and see how we are supposed to answer uh, these typical questions. We were given, in this case, identify the energy transfer in each of the following examples, okay? Write it as follows, atomic energy to electrical energy. So you give what is happening here, all right? So if we are to check here, we are given a man, then uh, with the bow and arrow, then after he has released the bow and arrow in this case. So at this point, we, which form of energy do we have? This is potential, all right? So we've got the potential energy in this case, all right? That is the potential energy. Then when there is a move, when he has released the ball, that is the arrow here in this case, that means we are now, there is a movement. So it is going to be kinetic, all right? So this is uh, from potential energy to kinetic energy, okay? On 7.12, what do we have? We've got an electrical circuit. Then we have connected a device in this case. So in this case, what do we have? We've got, uh, and from the electrical circuit, that is the electrical energy. So we have got uh, electrical energy in this case, all right? So once you plugged in here, then there is going to be heat. So this is going to be transferred into heat energy, all right? So this is kind of electrical to heat energy, all right? The first one, potential to kinetic, all right? So uh, I think uh, this was clear, all right? This was clear. So let's see the other part of the question. On 7.2, building material with a mass of 800 kgs is being hoisted vertically upwards from the ground to the 60th floor, nine meters above ground. Take note, to the 60th floor, which is nine meters above. We are not given that uh, each, it's nine meters from each floor. It's nine meters above up to that 60th floor. It is nine meters. So the total distance which was taken is nine meters. All right. So the question is on 7.21, draw a neat force distance graph of the movement. So we need force versus what distance. So here we need to find the force from what? From the mass. Remember, we are going to have mg, which is mass of 800 times the gravitational acceleration of uh, 9,8. So make sure that you multiply uh, properly. In this case, we are going to obtain something like 7,840 Newton. So we have the total force, we have the total distance and the scale. All right, so let's use this. I'm just going to show you a sketch of what it, it was going to look like, uh, but you're supposed to do this accurately. So this is 7.21. So take note, we said our total force is 7,840 Newton. And the total distance in this case is equivalent to nine meters. All right. So according to scale, two centimeters represents three meters. Okay. So each and every two centimeter is two, is the two centimeter represents uh, three meters, all right? That was three meters, exactly, all right? So this is three meters. Then for force, it's every one centimeter represents 1,000 Newton, okay? Every one centimeter represents 1,000 Newton, all right? So what you're going to do is that, uh, okay, let's insert our ruler here. All right, let's say we've got our diagram here. Remember, this is force versus distance. So you can have the distance axis and the force axis here. All right, so I'm just going to show you uh, what you're going to have. So this is your distance. And on the other side, we have got our force here. All right, so this is our force in this case. All right, so from this part, uh, all right, let's just reduce this one. All right, so this is your distance, which is in meters. All right, 
but we are given that each and every two centimeters, it represents three meters. So what you do is that from zero here, uh, let's say this is one centimeter, all right, then two centimeters. So two centimeters represents three meters. So it is going to be three meters. You measure, one, uh, maybe this is one centimeter, another two centimeter, that is three meters. So three plus three, this is now six and so on. So it's three, six, and so on, and so on, and so on, up to nine. So uh, you measure two centimeters, you are now at nine meters. All right. Then on the, uh, on the force, one centimeter represents 1,000. So you measure one centimeter, that is 1,000. You measure another one centimeter, that is 2,000. Another one centimeter, that is 3,000, and so on and so on. So it's 3,000. Uh, we've got 4,000. We've got 5,000. We've got 6,000. All right, we've got 7,000. Uh, so to accommodate 7,800, we need 8,000. All right, so this is your force on this side in what? In Newtons. All right, so what you know is that this point, these points must correspond, okay? The end, when we are at nine meters, we must correspond with 7,800. So let's say this is where we have our 7,800 at this point. Let's say that is where we have 7,840 Newton according to scale. So this must correspond back here with what? With nine. So you draw direct where these two meet, okay? That is uh, the whole part represents force and distance. So this whole area here represents the work done. All right, so that is uh, what uh, that is how you actually need uh, to have this question answered. Calculate the work done from the graph drawn in question 7.21. I talked about this one now and again. So work done simply represents the area. So in this case, we can have our work done as area. So 7.22 work done is equivalent to area. So our area, that's length times breadth or length times width, which is in this case, the length is the force times the distance. We've got force times distance or the force that we have, the total force is at 7,840 times the distance, which is at nine meters, all right? So this is what you're going to do. You multiply uh, 7,000, that's 7,840, multiply to nine, which is going to give us 70,560. So this is a work done, which is measured in joules. So you can leave your answer like this, or you can convert to kilojoules by dividing by 10,000 or by multiplying by 10 to the exponent of negative three, you are converting to kilojoules. So this can give us seven, uh, 70, or oh, that's 70 there, 70.56 kilojoules okay that is if you want to convert to kilojoules because you are not given to write your answer in kilojoules so you can leave your answer in joules okay uh 7.3 the force needed to pull a caravan at a constant speed of uh, 120 kilometers per hour on level ground is 200 calculate the power all right so you're given the force and the speed calculate the power remember that power is equivalent is equivalent to force times what force times the speed the force in newton and the speed which is velocity in meters per second so here we are going to multiply our power we put force which is 2200 times how do you convert the speed of 110 kilometers remember in meters per second this is kilo kilometers so to convert to meters you multiply by 1,000. Kilo means 1,000. So it is going to be 110,000, okay? Per hour, if you convert one hour to seconds, we know that one hour is equivalent to 3,600 seconds. Or you can convert using this way, one meter per second is equal to 3,6 kilometers per hour. So to convert 110, we simply divide 110 kilometers per hour, we divide by 3,6, so it's 100 divided by 3,6. So you could have 
uh, multiplied this one as uh, 110, not 100, but 110. You could have uh, multiplied this as 110 over 3,6. Still one and the same thing, okay? So if you are to multiply properly in this case, all right, let me just show you the screen so that we can use our calculator here. All right, so our calculator. So this is going to be 2,200, uh, so we've got 2,200 times uh, 110,000, so we've got 110,000 over 3,600, which is going to give us as a decimal, that's 6722, that, 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 that decimal. All right, so we are going to work with this decimal as it is, guys. Okay, uh, that's one. One is zero here over 3,600. I just hope everything is fine. Oh, you can use this one, 110. Let's cross check with this one, 200. Uh, 2,200 times the velocity in meters per second, which we said we can divide. So it can be 110 over 3,6 like this. Okay, we still get the same answer. All right, so that's what we have. So it's six. Uh, seven two two six seven two 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 comma two 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 and so on, which is measured in what in, in watts. This is power. All right. So take note, guys. This is kilometers per hour, meters per second. You multiply by one thousand. You divide by three thousand six hundred. Take note. You divide by three thousand six hundred. Okay. So you can convert to kilowatts if you want, or you can leave it like that. If you convert to kilowatts, you divide by one thousand which is going to give you 67.222 kilowatts, all right? Uh, that will be in kilowatts like that. Okay, so that was the question that we had on energy, work, and what? And power from Amazon African Motives uh, till we meet again.